how interesting, Wesley. I wonder when this arrived. It says it's to you. Let's see what it says. Hmm. Interesting here. Let me read it. Dear Wesley, my name is Marshmallow and I am your neighbor. The lady in my house sometimes watches your show. We were interested in how you represent cats. I believe you asked if you could pray to God that a certain cat would stop being such a cat. Well, I am that cat. I am in fact that fluffy cat. I wondered if you might consider having me as a guest on your show. P.S. All the other cats in the neighborhood think this is a good idea. Wow. Well, Marjorie, it is not a good idea. I mean, I, I, don't you think that's kind of presumptuous of that cat to decide she wants to like dominate my show and just invite herself over, you know, and like take up time? Well, I, I do think it's pretty bold of her, uh, of Marshmallow. Um, but it's also an interesting opportunity uh, to have a discussion. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I think it's kind of a stretch, you know, of like my Christian responsibility, you know, to like have that cat on my show. Um, I mean, do we have any examples of, you know, stuff like this in the Bible? Hmm. Well, not an exact situation like this in the Bible, but I will say that when we think about Jesus, um, he's very open to having discussions with just about everybody. He, he will talk to everybody. And when he has his discussions, he spends a lot of time listening. Yeah, I guess that's true. You know, I can, I can think of... Um, you know, that Samaritan woman, he spent a long time, you know, listening to her and, uh, you know, Zacchaeus. Um, I guess, I guess, yeah, he, he did uh, spend a lot of time, yeah, listening to people and, and even people who, who didn't totally, you know, agree with him. He did. I think, um, I think that was part of his loving quality was to listen to people. And then, of course, there's the whole thing. I mean, she did she did say that she's your neighbor you know and there's that whole business about uh loving our neighbor um so that was kind of a, a good reference on her part to remind her that we are supposed to love our neighbors as ourselves and you know there's one other passage that might have a bearing on this i i think it's in matthew Yes, it's from the Beatitudes, uh, and Jesus is teaching, and he says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God, the sons and daughters of God, is how we understand that. And so I think in a way, this is an opportunity for you and Marshmallow uh, to be peacemakers. Hmm. I mean, I guess, you know, I don't really have anything to be afraid of, you know, uh, because it is my show after all. And, um, you know, I would be interviewing her and, you know, it could be interesting to have a different point of view, um, you know, bringing a cat, cat perspective here. Uh, you know, I, I have some reservations. Uh, I've got to say, you know, it's, 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 it's hard, but, um, but as you say, Jesus, does listen and you know that's that's important and i i'd like to you know embody that on the show so all right i guess i guess we can send we can send marshmallow a uh, an invite i think that's a great idea wesley i look forward to it <laughs>